A new research institute will focus on creating more climate smart land use practices for forestry and agriculture. You know, we can change our land management to reduce greenhouse gas emissions pretty dramatically. CSU professor Keith Poschen says one of the main goals will be to help stabilize the carbon cycle, meaning less carbon in the atmosphere and more carbon on the earth. Healthy trees and crops play a role, but he's focused on the soil. There's, you know, there's much more carbon in the form of organic matter in form of, you know, some people call it humus or, you know, it's the it's the brown stuff that is it's the stuff you want in your garden, right? He says there's more carbon in the soil than the Earth's vegetation and atmosphere combined, and that could be increased even more. What's difficult for scientists to compute is how much carbon is moving from the atmosphere to the Earth. He says factors like deforestation, wildfires, and changes in agricultural methods are too complex to track. And the variations in the soil and vegetation across the planet are too great. That's where the computing power of artificial intelligence comes in. AI methods can help us manage that complexity and, and, and uh you know, and be able to utilize that, that big data more effectively. Postion says better measurements will lead to a better understanding of how to balance carbon. But increasing carbon storage on Earth won't solve climate change alone. We need to transition off of the use of fossil fuels and take some of that carbon dioxide that we've previously emitted back out of the atmosphere so that we, you know, stabilize climate. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Postchen says improved agriculture will also help the remission of the reduced emission of other greenhouse gases like methane.